Get the leather? Oh, thank you. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Get the leather. Derp. Loot the wolves. All right, let's see. One hide, one bone, one meat. So I don't I don't think the higher tier knife unfortunately did any better. Yeah, that's a little that sucks. The wolves didn't whine when they were killed. Oh my god, I think you're right. I think the dogs don't make sad puppy noises. Did we finally, did we finally get to a game that doesn't make me feel like a complete ass for killing dogs? I just realized that. You're absolutely right. Oh my lord. It's happening, TM. It rips my heart out when that happens in a game. So, you know how every so often, like, groups of people get together and they make petitions to make things happen? What gamers need to do is they need to get together and they need to make a petition where it's like, if you can kill dogs in your game, then then no one's going to buy your game. And what they need to do is they need to make it so it's like they just have normal voices. So it's like, you know, you kill a wolf and it's like, man, that really hurt. And then if you like, if you, if you, if you actually kill like everything around it, oh no, you killed me. Like that's, that's what it should sound like when you kill a wolf. Not, oh, 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 God, cute puppy noises. No, no, no. Be like, oh man, you got me. Like, just do it like that. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong about that opinion. It's perfect. What is that thing? I'm going to shoot it. What are you? You're kind of cute. I'm going to murder you. But you're quick. All right, let's see what this is. What are you? Some kind of like caterpillar thing? Ah, eh, just T1 prey meat. Okay. Weird. <coughs> well, this looks cool. Play minor realm card. That's a pretty cool effect. Is that it? Ah, currently active card. Cool. Okay. Also, why is that building peeing? Where's that water coming from? That's weird. Uh... No, don't run! Stay still and get your comeuppance! Ah. Lost it, yeah. I need a stronger range weapon, man, for hunting. Ooh, that's a big boy one. 230. So I only get one raw berry for... Do I get more raw berries doing this? Oh. Oh. It's not. All right. Hmm. I will say this game is really going to lend itself to explorers. Like there seems to be so much weird, cool stuff to see in this game. I know a lot of survival games kind of get a lot of flack for being like procedural and the worlds are kind of boring, you know, really catering to the mechanics and not a sense of exploration. I feel like this game is going to nail the exploration. And we haven't even been to like another biome yet. We haven't even been to the good part. The parts that are supposed to be cool. Oh, thanks. I can take that off. Okay. That's weird. Is there an invisible wall here? Can't seem to get up. 
What's this? I'll take a little short rest. The music is also really pretty. What are these? Uh, Nuriel, oh, you can just leave it how it is. Oh, Inflection says, Dev here, we've got queued crafting coming soon. Dude, awesome. I don't, are you, are, I don't know if you're still here. Um, I would love to give a little more feedback if you are. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for confirming that. Casual spider swarm, you know it, you know it. I can set up the way if they're not here. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, Shiden, do you do you work with them? I've noticed you've been giving us a lot of tips and answering a lot of questions. Is that? Huh? Poisonous rifle cartridge? Lightning marbles? Strength bonus 500%? Yo, what? How do I fire these things? Oh, lightning, ice, fire, metal, ball bearings. Oh, where you at, deer? Wait, can I, can I get these two? Oh, dude, this is awesome. Give me all that. Lightning buckshot? Ooh. Okay. Thank you, Nuriel. Uh, yeah, Shiden, I don't, I don't know if you heard earlier that the only feedback I would relay is, is making sure that they get the big four survival QOL into here. The, the big four QOL that every survival game should have. Um, which I'm sure they're aware of. It sounds like they, they're moving that direction, but. Why is your icon co-bongos? Because I, I, I'm the king of the bongos. Uh, I think like auto sort to nearby chest is that one? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you bullet point them out? Sure. You know what? Here, I'll 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 give you a clip. I'll give you a clip you can give to the devs. All right here you go. Ready? Here we go. Hi. I get this question a lot, so I'll let you know what's going on. In my opinion, in my opinion, every single survival game should have four pinnacle pillar QOL factors. If you have a survival game and you don't have these four things you have something to improve in your survival game no question and let me tell you why the first thing that makes survival games so much more enjoyable to play is a button or way to sort to nearby chests that's the first one so if i had you know like a bunch of these down like this and in these various things i had all sorts of different items well i could just hit a button in this menu like down here maybe, or maybe right over here, that would put all the items with like items in chests and stack them. That's the first thing. The second thing is sorting. This game already nails that. This game's awesome. So sorting in this game, you just press this button, lots of different options, great, grouped, weight. This is great. Lovely, fantastic, awesome. The third thing is storage crafting from containers. And what that is, is if I go over to a crafting item and I go here, all of this stuff is pulled from chests nearby it. And that way you're not constantly having to like load your inventory up with things that are way heavier than you can do and like move over to here to build stuff. So ambient crafting from chests. They've already said this is coming, so that's awesome. So they, they've already said this is coming, crafting from chests. And the final thing, and this is also super important, especially for people like me that love base building, the final thing is giving the player a similar to craft from chest, but construct from chest. And that's also super big. 
So what I mean by that is if I bring up this cool menu and I start doing this stuff and I start building my house, um, having these come out from chests is huge. Because a lot of us, what we like to do is hoard a whole bunch of resources, spend like hours and hours hoarding resources, and then spending hours and hours building our base. And if you have to continually go back to your base and walk around with giant amounts of stone and wood on you while constructing a base, that sucks and it's not fun. So yeah, those are the big four. Every survival game like this should have those things. And when they do, it is a palpably more fun, better, more streamlined experience. And none of those things affect gameplay. None of those things are things where it's like, well, if you didn't have that, maybe the game would be more fun because of X, Y, and Z. No. <laughs> the, no there, there is no like big, and, I, and trust me, we've had big discussions about this. There's almost no meaningful counter argument to those big four things. Um, if you have those four things in, then it lets players focus on the fun, interesting, enjoyable things about your game that set it apart, that make it unique. Why is this game different from Rust and Valheim and Enshrouded? Like, that, like that, we get to focus on that stuff instead of menial tasks that we've done a thousand times before in other games of this exact type. So anyway, TLDR, that's the big four. I really hope, they've already got some of it in, which is great. They have some of it on the way, which is great. But if they do those last little bits, like we're good to go. Yep. Anyway, there we go. All right, done. I said that would be a short video and I lied to all of you. I'm sorry. I'm a filthy liar. Uh, okay. So let's go over to here. Uh, okay. Go, mm. we're all used to it. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, let's get some leather going. We need all of the leather. Okay. Do I really only have? Man, pelts. Pelts are hard to come by, dude. Yeah, this pelting is a thing. <coughs> oh! Pie Spy says, I think Shiden is two desks over from me. I don't think any of us here disagree on any of those points. What I do is allow my NPC helper to access a chest with basic building materials and they do the hauling for me, at least as a stopgap. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Co should make a survival game because it clearly would be the best survival game ever made. Well, first of all, I, I appreciate that. But second of all, nothing I'm saying is stuff that you probably couldn't come up with yourself if you play a lot of these games. It's, it's not new or particularly interesting. Um, that being said, a lot of what I just talked about is actually in the game I'm working on called Emberville. So, um, yeah, a lot of that kind of like uh, QOL stuff that I love so much is actually in the game I'm working on already, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah. Cool. Hashtag ad. Well, I mean, I'm... I own part of the studio. So, not really an ad. They're not paying me. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the electric one. No, no, run! Stop! Stop! Thank you. No, no, no! I only have three shots, man. I can't waste them. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, dear white... Oh, yes, run into Dan's house! Yes! Oh, sir. No, no! <laughs> that didn't seem to do much more damage. Um, oh, now wait a second. What is a strength? So the damage bonus between that and this is identical. What is strength bonus? Determines if attacks will cause a hit reaction? Nani. What? What does that even mean? A stagger? Huh. Okay. Like a flinch. Yeah. Odd terminology. Yeah, terminology is a little weird. Um, and also, it's it's kind of strange to have the entire strength stat just determine if an enemy flinches and not have anything to do with damage. 
That's a little alien. Yeah, that's that's especially when you're talking about like swinging an axe or swinging a weapon. Hmm, interesting. But I mean, maybe if you're staggering every hit, it's like a huge increase in power or something. We'll have to we'll have to play with it. Okay, so I think the next thing we really need to do is we just got to get 20, man. We just got to get 20 gear score. Okay, so our main goal is to just keep getting this leather and keep making... We have, what, three things left? Four things left. Okay. So let's get this leather. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Ow. Mm hmm. Gear score changes based on what you have in your hand currently? Yes. Yes, I know. Yep. Can I just say that the music is super atmospheric and awesome? I agree. Yeah, the music has been great. Love the music. Dev here, they're also AoE plus lightning applies shock to enemies, which lowers their damage. Oh, that's all sorts of benefits. Is there is there like a tutorial or pop-up I missed about elemental stuff? That sounds really handy. Uh, this is all just random stuff. How to play, maybe? Oh, what is this? Oh. No. Oh, hope. Hope is an indicator of your overall realm walking score. Your maximum hope is based on three scores gear, estate, and deeds. To raise your gear score, equip better equipment, improve your state score by building near your respite point, and increase your deed score by finishing journal quests. Wow, so there, an entire core component of your character is based on building in this game. Nice. I'm here for it, man. Okay. Um... You're st yeah, I feel like there should be elemental under status effects. Oh, or maybe I maybe I need to be... You know what? Maybe I'll get this stuff when I get exposed to them. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Hmm. We'll see. Time to shoot yourself? Maybe if I shoot straight up, it'll land on my forehead. <laughs> Yeah, randomism. Well said, dude. And thank and thank you to the devs that have been uh, answering questions and hanging out. We really appreciate it. That's super cool of you. Thanks. Thank you. Very cool of you. Uh, okay. Co-reading tooltips? I don't read tooltips. I ain't got time to read tooltips. I got a stream. I don't even know how to read. Uh, let's go over here. Any idea how big the world is? Uh, so it's kind of, okay, so this is the world you start on, but the whole point of the game is that you travel to other worlds. So I think there's like a procedural element, maybe? I, I We haven't really gone to another world yet, so we haven't been able to analyze too much of this. But um, it does seem like you kind of like, you can pick, when you pick a, when you, when you travel between worlds, you pick a type of world, and then you pick, like, a style of world. And by combining those, it, like, makes a world. So we're we're still figuring out, like, how that works and what it means. And this is the first world you go to, which is kind of like your home world. And you can see in the top right there. Um, can't wait for home world three, by the way. Uh, if you see in the top right there, you have, like, this little quest line to work through before it, like, takes you to the other world. So we're going to be, we're working on that now. I need to find more animals so I can get more leather. Which will hopefully allow me to travel to those other worlds. That was a little AoE. That's cool. Oh, and he's still shocked. Stamina back. 
Okay. Is this another early access game? Yes. Mm -hmm. This game does not look good graphic wise, not gonna lie, says Joker. Think so? It looks pretty good. I think it definitely gets the job done. But hey, eat your own. It's fine. Ooh, boars. I think if you're really playing a survival game, like, graphics are, are always important in games, absolutely. But I feel like a lot of times when you're playing survival games, you can still have a really good time, even if it doesn't look good. Like, I feel like uh, survival games are a lot more mechanic-oriented a lot of times. It's not like a AAA storytelling experience where graphics and facial animations make a huge deal, you know? But I mean, even then, I mean, I feel like the world is, looks pretty good. Sky looks pretty great. Yeah. Is that the only two guys? I guess so. But usually they come in threes. Hey, uh, try war. If we could ping, ping the editors to do that, that'd be great. Make a command called the big four. When we talk and get asked about it enough. Why not, right? Hey, Julia, what's up? Julia, are you playing this out of curiosity? Just remember, if you want ultra graphics, just walk outside. I'm not going to lie. We live in a day and age where a lot of games look better than outside. You can't really say that anymore. There are games that look better than going outside. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that was kind of like a meme and a joke, you know, growing up like 20 years ago, 10 years ago. But these days, you can't really say that. <laughs> like, there's some gorgeous games, man, that do like better things with lighting than the sun does. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I prefer a lot of that stuff. I posted my sexy character on Twitter. Oh God, Julia, what have you done? Hold on. <sighs> Hold on. Mm. Um. Funny story. Somebody said, "What would take you? What would take you to stop using Twitter?" And I said, honestly. The day I stop using Twitter is probably going to be the day I go to Twitter.com and it tells me the site doesn't exist and to go to X.com and I'm just going to go, no. I'm not going to put that in my browser. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what this is where we call it quits, I guess. Um, <laughs> as long as I can still go to Twitter.com. <laughs> That's it. Uh, okay. Let's see. Got to find Julia. Mm -mm. You will still use it. That's a lie. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm old, I don't like social media, and I've been using Twitter for so long, I just I just don't care. I don't want to go anywhere else because I don't care enough about social media to rebuild everything on another platform. I just don't care. And honestly, that's what Elon's betting on. So you got me, big guy. Um, oh, no. Julia! <sighs> Oh, God! <laughs> it, it somehow got worse. How did you make it worse? Oh, my Lord. Thank you, Agamir. Uh, everything else I think I has bullets and stuff. And it really does scare all of them. Damn. Oh no, the little guy lagged behind. Whatever will we do? 
Go after these boys, because we're not a monster. Oh my god, so many boars! Much bacon. Ew. Okay. I feel like deer give some of the most resources. So I'm wondering, like, there's got to be a good way for us to kill deer. The range thing is just not working. You just don't do enough damage. And they're too fast to melee. You can't, like, unless they get stuck on something, you will not keep up with the deer. So there's got to be more to it that I just don't know. A gun? Oh, we can't, we can't even make metal stuff yet, let alone guns. All right, let's go back and uh, see if we can make this 20 gear score. Anonymous, uh, $10 tip. First of all, thank you for tipping the mod team. Second of all, how are you liking this? I confess that I thought it looked a bit more unique after the marketing, but are you having fun? Uh, yes. I am absolutely having a good time with this game. It is a, it is a relatively standard survival game, but it's doing a, a pretty good job of putting its own weird spin on like a, a unique world. And it is missing what I would say is some pretty essential QOL for survival games, but it is early access and the devs do, you know, have more coming for sure. In fact, you know, at least some of that QL is on the way for sure. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm having a good time with the game so far. And it is doing a lot of, of pretty cool, unique things for survival. Particularly, I'm very interested to explore this realm system and see where that goes. And, uh, you know, things like that. But no, man, I'm having a good time with it. It's fun actually pretty cool uh all right let's make as much leather as we can oh i think this is gonna be it it's gonna get us 20 and then we can continue the main uh quest thing cool oh start fire for the 20 second craft bonus i probably should have i don't know if we can i don't know if that matters but i should have you're right is this backwards why do I have to target like down here and not like here? I think I put this backwards. Mm -mm -mm. What does QL mean? QL is quality of life. It's a uh, QL is features that make the game more fun and easier to play. Andre with the 85 months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's just a very basic definition of QL. QL is an umbrella that involves lots and lots of different things. So that's that's one aspect of QL. I think it's the frame since a leather part vanishes, though you may uh, be straying close to the bucket. Oh, it's oh okay. So I can just look at the bucket. That's great. Okay, that that explains it. That's fine. That works. Have I tried Mary Poppins? With an umbrella? Did you just make a verb out of Mary Poppins' name? Have you tried Mary Pop Popping Poppinings with an umbrella? I've not yet, but I've heard it's awesome. 